On May 28, the city of Thunder Bay received a huge amount of rain that flooded our water treatment plant on Atlantic Avenue. Well, the morning of the flood, uh, again on the morning of May the, uh, May the 28th, uh, the, w what happened was is that due to infiltration or due to the excessive rainfall or due to the fact that there was a fair amount and a lot of amount of, of flow coming into the plant, this plant flooded. And when it flooded, the areas that we've just walked through, the main pumping station and all of the other treatment process that I've described stopped working. Parts of them were underwater. So again, as we went through for recovery operations, we developed a very methodical plan to bring up the main parts of the plant. So all I can tell you right now is the plant flooded the morning of May the 28th. What you are looking at is the motor from one of the five pumps that was damaged at the Atlantic Avenue water treatment plant. When we take the story, two of the five pumps were back up and running with hopes that the other three will be fixed soon. I'm standing in front of the Atlantic Avenue water pollution control plant and in a few moments Daryl Matson from the city of Thunder Bay is going to give us a tour of the plant to see some of the damage that was done with all of the rainfall that we had on May 28th. What you see set up here right now is all the temporary pumping that we've put in on May the 28th and the 29th. So if you see pump 31 and you see these big red ones, you'll see that they've got a suction pipe that's going into the wet well. And as we walk around, you'll see their discharge pipes go around the corner, some go into the building, and they're pumping all of the storm water that came in here that morning to an overhead channel and through the treatment process. One of the many questions being asked over the last week and a half has been whether or not the plant has been fully pumped out. For the most part, the majority of the plant that was flooded has been pumped out. You saw an area a few minutes ago where we've actually focused our efforts to pump out the dry well side so we can get in and refurbish, restore and commence with normal operations as far as pumping out of this facility. One of the areas of focus is that the plant to my right where the red brick is, is the 1964 facility and somewhere in this vicinity we know that we've got some water that's infiltrating the plant. Right? Do we know where yet? We do not. So this is an area where you've seen some pumping operations. When we go around the corner, you'll still see some pumping operations that are occurring. So our primary focus over the last couple of days is to determine, we're going to look now from the outside into the plant, if we can actually see an area where this water is infiltrating. Is there something that's blatantly obvious? Uh, there was a question in terms of how long did it take for us to actually set up temporary pumps. From the time the staff realized that we had a flooded plant to the time that the first pump started to arrive on site was two hours. So we commenced with pumping. Uh, we mobilized very quickly and we have pumps stored close by and we started assembling those pumps, fired them up and they were pumping from where you see those big red pumps that was earlier on in the tour. On Monday, June 11th, the city announced that they were hoping to recommission two more of the damaged pumps. And if all goes well, they will revisit the water restrictions put on the residents of Thunder Bay. Carrie Marshall, manager of the environment with the city of Thunder Bay, said that the recommissioning of these two pumps will bring the plant a step closer to full pumping capacity. And if everything goes well, there will be four pumps running at the water pollution control plant by the evening of Monday, June 11th. I need to emphasize, though, that the key here is people are using water, we see it. As long as it's not going to the sewers, that's still okay. It's the water that's being sewered that is our biggest concern. So there's lots of water uses that aren't going to a drain. Uh, but again, people are cooperating. Uh, we know that because they've been falling, calling in and saying, because I use a bit more water. We're saying, please, we're on the cusp. We're almost there. Please be patient and thank you very much for your cooperation.